In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of derivative. In the previous video, I have already discussed the derivation of a derivative from a difference quotient. In this particular video, we are going to discuss the mathematical concept of a derivative and the economics of a derivative or the application of derivative in economics. Now let us look at the mathematical concept of a derivative. Let us consider an independent variable x and a dependent variable y so that y is a function of x. We choose to write this relationship as y is equal to f of x or y is a function of x. When variable x changes from the value x subscript 0 to a new value x subscript 1, the change is measured by the difference x subscript 1 minus x subscript 0. Now using the symbol delta to denote change, we write delta x is equal to x subscript 1 minus x subscript 0. The derivative of y with respect to x at a point x subscript 0 is defined to be the limit of the ratio of the change in y to the change in x. That is, limit of delta y by delta x as delta x tends to 0 or limit of the ratio of the change in y to the change in x as delta x tends to 0. Now delta y by delta x is the difference quotient which measures the average rate of change of y. The two most common ways of writing notation for the derivative of y with respect to x are either as dy by dx or f prime. Now dy by dx or f prime x which is the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the limit of delta y by delta x as delta x tends to 0. That is the limit of the difference quotient which measures the average rate of change as delta x tends to 0. Now let us look at the economics of a derivative or the application of derivative in economics. Now in economics a derivative typically represents a marginal concept. If benefits B and cost C depends on the level of activity X then the derivative of B with respect to X represents marginal benefit and the derivative of C with respect to X represent marginal cost. Again, if revenue depends on the quantity of a good sold, then the derivative of revenue with respect to quantity represents marginal revenue. Also, if production depends on labor input, then the derivative of production with respect to labor input represents the marginal product of labor. In economics, the marginal cost is usually defined as mc is equal to delta c by delta x and it represents the cost of producing one more or the last unit or an additional unit of a good. In mathematical form, using the concept of derivative, marginal cost can be written as mc is equal to dc by dx or mc is equal to c prime x. This expression implies the derivative of the cost function with respect to the variable x. An advantage of using the C prime x notation is that it emphasizes that marginal cost is itself a function of x. Now here are some of the related marginal concepts in economics expressed in mathematical form.